Hey guys, so this video is on who to reroll for if you decide to reroll in the Alchemist Code. So rerolling the Alchemist Code is a good idea because certain units, such as Shayna and Ryle, will make your life in the Alchemist Code so much easier as you start off the game. While you can make it through the game with a job 1 Yomi, a job 1 Anastasia, your Logi, and some random 3-star filler, It'll be a lot more difficult because you're using a lot of melee jobs, or melee I guess, that are not as mobile and have problems getting to the opponents. Especially in maps where the opponents have lots of high ground and lots of ranged units to attack your protagonist with. You want units that can take these units out so that your protagonist doesn't die and you lose the mission right there. So who are the best units to reroll for? Well, there's four of them that I think deserve special mention, and then there's a few of them after that that are pretty good to get in your reroll, and should be considered when deciding whether or not you want to keep a reroll or not. So the first and most obvious one, by far, is Shayna. Shayna's job one is Holy Brawler, probably the most powerful uh, job in the game right now, and this makes her insanely good. Add to that that her leader skill is 50% extra physical attack for water units, and that she's just amazing in general, and you have probably the best unit in the game right now, as well as the best unit to reroll for. Following Shayna is the most powerful job one ranged unit, Ryle. Ryle gets Ranger at job one, and Ranger is the super upgraded version of Hunter. It has more jump, good move, it's got great power, uh, great strength, it's pretty fast, the agility, I think Ryle has the highest agility of all ranged units in the game right now. And it'll just make your life really easy, as ranged units kind of dominate the story mode. He won't be as good for arena or some events, but he will make the story mode an absolute breeze. Now after Ryle and Shayna, I'd probably say the third best is Shenmei for job 1. Just because Shenmei has Pirate at job 1, and Pirate, similar, similar to Holy Brawler, doesn't really need any changes to make it good. It's a very powerful melee job, it allows Shenmei to be a, a force to be reckoned with, and she's just a fairly good unit all around. But it's not as good as Holy Brawler, and it's not as mobile either, so Shayna is still definitely preferred. Then, if you can get a job 2 of Magnus or Vettel, uh, so let me just go over to Vettel. I don't think I have any of his shards yet. Here he is. So if you can get a job to Magnus or Vettel, those two can also carry you extremely easily through pretty much all the content in the game. Now the reason I'm ranking job to Magnus and Vettel after Ryle and Shenmei is because you need to get two copies of them, which makes rerolling much more difficult. Only needing one copy of Shayna, Shenmei, and Ryle is what makes them so powerful for rerolling. Just because even though they are they are all also powerful units in their own right, especially Shayna, the best unit in the game, extra copies of Ryle and Shenmei won't do as much for you, especially starting out because you don't need their limit breaks. Whereas for Magnus and Vettel, getting the extra copy is what lets you get their job too, which is what makes them so amazing. Now those are the good five stars to reroll for, but there's also a lot of other good units to reroll. To re -roll for. A job to Yomi is Ninja, which is a very powerful job in its own right, and super mobile, even more mobile than Shayna's Holy Brawler, but also a lot more fragile. Uh, a lot of people compare it to basically a crazy little squirrel running around in the battlefield one-shotting things, but also getting one shot. So you've got to be careful with her, but she is very powerful if you can get a second copy of her. Her first job is Shrine Maiden, which gets outclassed really easily and just isn't that good. But it's fairly mobile, so you can use it if you pull a single Yomi and you want to use her. Apart from that, for 5 stars, uh, most of them are pretty good, but none of them are really reroll worthy. But there are a few 4 stars that are amazing, as well as some 3 stars. So the 3 stars are Almira, so this chick right here. Especially if you can get her to job 3. You're not going to reroll to get her to job 3, that requires way too many limit breaks. Getting as a hunter, she's pretty good. As a beast tamer, she's pretty mobile and also pretty good. And once you get her to, and raising her is pretty good because once you get her to sniper, she becomes amazing. Now apart from her, there's Venekis. And Venekis needs job two to be good and job three to shine. And she's not as good as Almira yet because Venekis will be getting a job plus down the line or a job enhancement for Sage plus job, which makes her a very powerful mage with access to the enchanter and the thief sub passive, which gives her move plus one. Which is very important for mages because mages have move 2, jump 1, which is 
Oh my god, it's painful to use. So having move plus one makes her pretty good. Now for four stars, there's quite a few that are notable. Uh, none on this page, but there's a few back here. Rahu gets Chronomancer at job one, which is the best supportive job currently available. Uh, Lofia, who I haven't raised yet, gets Chronomancer at, I believe, job two or three. And then Zangetsu here gets, so this is Lofia right here. Her job one's Magic Swordsman, which is usable. Her job two's Enchanter, which is great for the passes, but you don't want to be using it. And her job three is Chronomancer, which, along with her bulk from Magic Swordsman and her increased cast uh, speed from Enchanter, makes her one of the best Chronomancers in the game. Zengetsu here, once you get him his job two and three, so job two is Martial Artist, which has a very powerful basic skill, and job three is Dragon Cavalier. So Zengetsu has such a huge attack, thanks to the Samurai passive, as well as his job two basic skill and his job three basic uh, physical attack scaling, that he can be used later on to basically one-shot almost anything in the game with enough buffs. So he's pretty powerful. And then apart from Zengetsu, uh, Karis and Reagan would be the other two to note for, as well as Lucian here, for four stars. So Lucian's important because his job three is the same as Yomi's, Holy Brawler. And he gets Martial Artist job two, which is very useful. Similar to Yomi's Ninja, Martial Artist is more for buffing physical attack, Ninja is more for buffing movement. They're both good in their own rights, and they work well together, actually. Uh, Kazahaya is interesting, but not super powerful. And I know I have a Karis somewhere. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have Karis on this account. But Karis gets Sniper. So, yeah, here we are. So this is Reagan. Reagan gets Sniper at job 2, which is amazing. And Karis gets it at job 3, which is, she'll be the better Sniper, but Reagan is a lot more accessible. So those are two of the other four stars to look out for. So anyways, guys, if you're planning to re-roll, in order of who you want to re-roll re for, it's your top tier waifu, or husbanda, and then it goes Shayna, Ryle, Job 2 Magnus, Job 2 Vettel, Shenmei, as well as a, a decent supporting cast of 4 stars. A Job 2 Reagan will also make the game super easy if you can pull 3 Reagans. Uh, you won't be able to get Job 3 Karis, but pulling some Karis copies isn't bad. Pulling a lot of copies of Almira and Venekis is a great thing. And then pulling copies of stuff such as Zengetsu, Yomi, uh, or other good 5 stars is always a good thing to have in your reroll if you're trying to decide on one account copy over another. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope that it helps you decide if you want to reroll or not. Subscribe if you like it, and have a good one.